good day to you guys let's do this one more time another batman and this time it's the x19 so the christian christian bale dark knight batman has been made by hot toys three times or more <laughs> if you include the other versions uh howard chan just really loves this character so this is the latest and probably i hope the last iteration of dx19 batman the dark knight okay so this is a dx so dx are usually more special so i'm excited to see what that is let us unbox it so you see it is it's my first time looking at this it is, this has been lying in my house the whole time and we get oh wow this is nice this is nice check it out man i love i always love this cover pages of, of the dx even has this white sheet for to protect it i guess it comes like that so i got this second hand i got this for 30 000, 13 thousand pesos which is something like 200 dollars or a bit more than that but it's around that ballpark couldn't be 250 dollars so it's a good deal considering that when this first came out it was something around 20,000 which is around 280 dollars or 250 dollars not sure man i don't have my calculator in this unboxing setup so it comes with a keychain i guess <laughs> it's my first time seeing this man i didn't even keychain <laughs> Re even watch the other reviews when i while well, doing this so i'm a bit excited i, I want to I, I want it spoiler free man so what what does this do oh okay so this is sort of a, like a paracord you you attach this so you got some sort of a rip cord go going on if you want to put it in your travel bag or something you know represent the hot toys and represent the batman <laughs> that's all cool uh the last one i had was the dx12 which i'm gonna show later and it had pretty much the movie movie stuff happening this one is more of uh i don't know it's colored i guess i mean it's a mix it's a mixed batman and here is batman in his coffin i got this one for a really good deal although this was i saw this a few days ago selling for around eleven thousand pesos so that's two thousand pesos less but for thirteen thousand i could not avoid this man i had no plans plans on getting this but the price was just so inviting to me plus the fact that they released bane so that's it so let's look at the revisited christian no you know what let's take this all out and see all the stuff man I love how they do the DX. Never get tired of looking at them. Love how they, they give you that, that special layout feel going on. Christian Bale here. And as usual, the Sony camera has a problem with focusing. It focuses real slow. <laughs> Must be my settings. Very good, a big improvement. Later, we will see it along with the dx12 the last one i had although before that they released the armored batman the, the, the armory batman which was a lot better than the dx12 so i don't own that it's too expensive at this point because it comes with the armory and all so let's check out what's below this and you have the the nice stand and some i don't know really my first time here man uh -huh. I'm so excited to, un to, to open this because I don't I had no idea what this is so I guess this is the cape <laughs> I figured that this is where the cape was laid on but the the guy put it on so as for the stand okay it's it's still almost the same as the old one we will compare it later with some a little bit improvements so these are the tools for the eye movement system and these are the batteries I guess uh, for the eyes I don't know uh, extra pegs and of course the stand okay so let's focus on the Batman himself man because that is what we are here for so the Batman 
uh, take it off of his coffin so before that I always had a problem with the DX12 cape I thought it was ugly and with how it was made I thought that the Batman suit looked like a, a bike accessory you know a bike armor or something oh didn't come with hands man okay it came off okay all's well <laughs> so let us look at this okay first and foremost very good cape attachment it doesn't annoy me because when I opened the DX12 when I boxed it I was immediately disappointed with how the cape got in here so the guy who sold me this took the trouble to put on the cape and yeah people are still complaining about that about the cape okay sorry about that so it still stands that the wrists they, they don't hold very well <laughs> because that's that's also the thing with the other Batman with the, with that DX12 uh, they, they come loose easy, easily but maybe it's because of this gauntlet you know it pushes the 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 the, the, the wrist out the wrists out the pegs out so it's more of a design problem than anything else so they haven't really solved solved this this gauntlet problem okay so you know what i wish i got this first because i wouldn't have been disappointed i was disappointed with the dx12 man it took me a while to like it okay let's stand him first it took me a long while to like the dx12 i just thought it was so ugly and i couldn't believe that i thought it was ugly i felt some sort of a, of a, of a guilt man <laughs> if you can call it that it's sort of a hot place guilt like you feel guilty about hating a figure maybe because you spent so much money on it <laughs> so yeah the dx12 didn't make me happy at all but this one this one's on the right track okay my man I don't know what exactly is different but I feel like the eyes are more lifelike of this Batman figure still it attaches with the same old magnet system I just feel that the that the lips are less the lips on that the other Batman just felt so silly it felt so cartoony yeah look this one looks beautiful you know what if you own the DX12 and you're put away from the Batman I suggest you you get this man because the only reason why I got this was because it was cheap but if I knew in hand it would be like this I'd sell my, my, my DX12 for a loss and then you know just get this but okay here's the thing Batman comes with a lot of accessories and now there's the Inart Joker and now there's also the, the, the Bane 2.0 so you can always use more than one Batman, you know, in your in your collection. Especially me, I'm a Batman fan. Uh, this is not my favorite design, but this was my favorite movie. So there's that. So we have here are some of the face sculpts. Uh, the 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 what do you call that? The interchangeable lower lips. I didn't mess with it because the last time I did it ended up making my Batman look silly man <laughs> because this Batman he can actually <laughs> without effort look really out of character okay I'm gonna get the tool for this because you are gonna need the tool to push this mouthpiece out so I re this tool is invaluable so when you buy this use or something always make sure this tool is around because that's the only way you can edit this figure without damaging it you can cha change the face sculpts so let's do the okay he's starting to look silly <laughs> that's what I said man Christian Bale when he played this part he kind of did a lot of faces <laughs> I wonder if it was I guess it was so into character I guess that you know it Batman himself the character you know is sort of in exists in the comics so when Christian Bale translated it it's sort of you know he translated it like that like a comic which is you know sometimes it 
makes for silly faces but with some the right lighting which is what batman is about so i'm moving the light it can look kick ass man <laughs> swear to me <laughs> where is he <laughs> yeah i love the movie <laughs> so it, it even it even uh reset my 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 light settings my iso light settings so let us take a look this is another head sculpt which where the battery is the this is new so it's the sonar batman's the sonar suit man so it's really cool makes him damn he looks scary with that can i change the face sculpts yeah you can still change the 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 mouth sculpts i guess the half face sculpts sorry i forgot the term man damn he looks really creepy with that he looks scary which is very good it is translating very well into figure format because batman is supposed to be scary and this is nailing it man i can say that this is a very scary batman especially with how you can shoot him and stuff in the, in the camera I'm, I'm very impressed i am blown away <laughs> which is weird to say because i wasn't expecting much of this figure i just i also bought a bat pod i just thought that i need somebody to be in there so there's that so these are his array of weapons the grappling hook the sonar gun yeah this puzzle gun which is so weird that i need an instruction manual to figure this out and the other one had an extra belt and i figure this one only has one i guess i'll look at the instructions on how you clip one of the weapons the grappling hook or something this is a big improvement but you see design flaw i did not do anything it just fell off on its own man okay so let us move on to some other things put on the christian bale head sculpt it's very easy to install no challenge there and let us take out the dx12 for compare but before that i mean let us set him up with the stand first so talking about the stand it is not very different from the from the other one but there are some repaints here which you would see in a while standard in standard installment procedures nothing to write home about let's put in our christian bale our bruce wayne and let's put away this stuff first and here is the x12 sorry about the weird camera angle as usual the tripod makes for this uh, above view so you can't really see the height difference or something but let us check out the, the face sculpts. This is the DX19. So good, man. So updated. This one is the older uh, DX12. And of course, my camera. And it's focusing. I mean, it's still good, right? It's still good. But since this exists this one has sharp dx19 has sharper features while dx12 has flatter ones okay so that's the main difference and the paint app also wow his belt is hiked so high up <laughs> so another problem i have with the dx12 is that its belt always wants to be in the wrong direction man it always because this one came comes with an interchangeable belt so that was a pain to work with it wasn't as you know painless so now let us look at them with their batman cowls on and there it is sorry about this other batman looking the other way because of its uh lower face uh inter face plate it i have to make him look that way or else he's just gonna look really silly because if, if he's looking sideways he's looking more badass this uh i tried my best to look for the uh, the face plate that's like that but i realize it doesn't have that kind of face plate so it's less silly 
this one is more I don't know <laughs> it's a bit silly in the in some context this one is more neutral I mean generally the DX19 has more uh, neutral or uh, adaptable face plates this one DX12 really was risky when it came to the face plates you know you can make killer expressions with it so it sort of adds character in that way so looking at the armor too the paint job of this is way uh, more updated while well, this one looks like rubber a uh, bike bike armor stuff when I, the first time I saw it I just thought <laughs> this is like a bike armor a motorcycle armor especially the shoulder pads the way it was you know painted and all well this one look more like military armor so you see how, how the cape attaches like that well this one had like the, the DX12 had this see you can even see that the, the clips so that bothered the crap out of me when I bought it I regret it immediately <laughs> I just thought well at least I have Batman the Christian Bale Batman you know but that really bothered me so this DX19 is the way to go it has more problems with the wrists though it just keeps popping off way more than this so let's see it just keeps popping off okay now there's a downside for that okay okay and this one also comes with some tarnish I don't know this one this part here uh, it's not a biggie god it's everything's just falling apart with this with this because of this gauntlet that's the thing with hot toys gauntlets man they haven't perfected the design if only this was small enough to slip in here we would be have no problems lifting the arms up but since the design is like this expect things to pop off man so I'm I'm not gonna fudge with it here in this video or you know what let's use editing powers to fudge with it so I fudge with them DX19 took forever to get this position and this is the highest position he could get and this is like as high as he could go with raising his fists DX19 had zero problems it this never pop off the the joint you know articulated really well so basically DX19 traded aesthetics because look at that elbow joint man it just looks more beautiful and natural compared to this this extremely bent one of the DX12 so they traded that kind of articulation for this kind of aesthetics so that has always been the that that has always been the thing with hot toys it's always been a trade-off for for function and form so this is the best compromise you get so Batman raising his fist like that is very hard to work with <laughs> it, it's not as easy so let's look at the stand so this is the DX12 so it's it's a lot simpler this is like the movie logo right the X19 still went with it but had little more uh, dry brushing and, and wear and some of the some of the snow things the paint job is updated compared to the flatter boring ones compared to this which is more translucent so this one's the typical old school silver DX nameplate this one is actually black and it looks more updated man I like them both you know nonetheless I like them both so this has been Rewell for re-reviews saying have a nice day everyone remember to like the video comment if you want like share and subscribe I still have a lot of stuff in the pot pipeline next one I'm gonna open is the bat pod and let's figure out who we're gonna put in the bat pod have a good day everyone